Hey, Steve here from Arctic Fox Studios. As you can see, fall is here, and it's about this time every year that UVI likes to release a new version of Falcon. And they always catch me by surprise. Multigranular synthesizer. I bought Falcon something like three or four years ago. I can't remember, I think I started on version 2.0. And about this time every year, UVI likes to update Falcon, and it's always been free. Some of the updates have been fantastic, with new ARPs, oscillators, and FX, taking what was a pretty awesome powerhouse synthesizer and making it considerably better, for free, every year. You know who doesn't do that? Uh, Native Instruments. Native Instruments doesn't do that. I'm a big fan of money. 2024 is no different, and for existing users, the upgrade is, again, free. But two things are different. First, this isn't much of an upgrade. Yep, I'm gonna say it. I'm a little disappointed. No new FX or oscillators this time. But we do get several quality of life improvements, including a newly redesigned browser with audio previews and all kinds of preset tags. Now this is probably a huge deal to some people, because it means that you can now very quickly run through presets with much better search capabilities and find the sound you need. I really love this for something like Meteor because I never remember how each of these risers and whooshes sound, and it's super quick to go through these now. So actually, this is pretty darn nice. But to me, as a sound designer, I just want more power. This 4th of July weekend, prepare to get annihilated. Like 10 more oscillators, and more physical modeling, and new crazy FX, and I want my ARPs to have ARPs. Anyways, I'm only complaining a little. The second thing that's different with Falcon this year, and this is great for anyone that doesn't own it, is that it's on sale for half off. This is the cheapest price that I have ever seen. So if you want to get into the UVA market, now is the time. There are a number of synths in this $100 to $200 price range, and most of them are pretty good. But at $150, I can't think of one that can match Falcon in terms of, well, a lot of things. Which is why I'm going to rate Falcon on a tier list across several categories. Prepare, prepare. This is something that is typically not a problem with modern day VSTs. In fact, I would say that there are quite a few S-tier VSTs on the market. Is Falcon S-tier? Absolutely. I put it up there with Omnisphere and quite a few really good contact libraries. Granular synthesizer. For sound design, I have quite a few categories that I'm going to rate. Falcon is arguably one of the best packages that's available for sound design. The fact that you can put envelopes and randoms and LFOs on just about anything is super amazing. Plus, the arpeggiators are just off the charts. I gave the oscillators section an A, just because I think there are some things that could be added, especially in the physical modeling department, and things like the FM oscillator could be updated with maybe a better UI. Effects gets an S because UVI makes some of the best effects on the market, period. It gets a minus because I would like to see more, because, you know, the whole power thing. A particle engine like in Noir or Piano Colors would be simply amazing, and also some more delays, please. The new Maris LVX delay pedal has some nice modifiers for individual taps that would be very cool to have in Falcon. And having some micro-looping functionality a la the microcosm would be pretty fantastic too. Granular. I'm going to rate the add-on libraries that you get with Falcon in terms of quality and in terms of total content. I would put quality in the a tier. I only have one library that I really don't like, and that is the Model D Piano. It's one of the few pianos that I own that just does not click with me. There are a couple of other libraries like Cameo and Savage that I would place in the C tier, probably a handful in the B tier, and everything else in the A or S tier. I have some UVI add-on libraries where I favored 80% of the presets, and I would consider things like Synth Anthology 4 and S tier for preset quality and amount. Volcom is another one that has just really great sound, as do the Quadra libraries, and Attack EP88 is probably my favorite Rhodes that I own. Also, the new modular noise and drums libraries are like S+. In terms of total content, UVI just can't compete with Omnisphere and Contact, both of which have huge third-party libraries. I mean, Contact is probably the only S tier in the game, and everyone else is really just playing catch-up at this point, and will be for a while. UVI has vastly improved the number of libraries available in the last three years, but I would put them in the B tier currently, just because there are a few areas that are missing. A dedicated guitar library would be fantastic, especially if it had some really esoteric ambient swells and microcosm type stuff. I might know of an artist who could contribute to that. 
Something that could match Echo Rain would be cool. Something that could match Tapes.01 would be cool. A physical modeling synth or two would be cool. And vocals are rather lacking as well. In fact, UVI really only has one vocal library, and I wish they had more because Volcom is rather fantastic. I would rank presets in three different ways. First, the number of presets you get is definitely S tier. 1500 is a healthy amount, especially compared to a number of other VSTs in the $100 to $200 price range. For preset quality, I would give UVI an A-. This has improved over the years, as I would have given version 2.0 a C. But the new presets just keep getting better and better every year, especially the lo-fi and granular stuff. Lastly, we could rank preset diversity, meaning does the library cover many different types of instruments, like drums, guitars, orchestral instruments, etc. Here I would rate Falcon a B-. Most of the sounds are electronic or synth sounds, so if you are looking for like orchestral or world instruments, you need to pick up one of these because there's not much in the bass library. Finally, in the bang for your buck category, I have to give Falcon an S, and probably really an S plus, because at 149 bucks, there's nothing else on the market that can really touch this in terms of the power and capabilities. And you're gonna get something free every year. You agree or disagree with my rankings? Leave the love or hate in the comments. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe. Keep making great music. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the other side of the mountain. This 4th of July weekend, prepare to get annihilated.